So now let's begin our discussion about the SRY gene. So the SRY gene. The SRY gene, the SARI gene. Well, it's, I'm not actually too sorry that I have the SRY gene because it helps me become a man. So it's going to be the sex determining re oop, region on the Y chromosome. So the sex determining region on the Y chromosome. Just as the name implies it's going to be only on the Y chromosome, men will have this gene and it's going to determine the sex. So let's see how we determine sex. So this is going to be this is going to be really important. Um, I'm, I'm very thankful. I'm not sorry that I have this sorry gene. So uh, what it's going to do is your SRY gene will produce testes determining factor. And testes determining factor will develop your testes in the male and your testes have two main cell types. You're going to have Sertoli and your Sertoli cells are kind of like your nurse cells. They're going to nurse this, uh, they're going to nurse your sperm. They're going to take care of things, but they're also going to produce a hormone. And that's going to be a very important hormone during embryogenesis. Then you've also got this lay dig. The Leydig cells, these are going to be your manly cells. The Leydig cells produce testosterone. And I'll cover that uh, after we talk about Sertoli cells. So now let's begin our discussion with the Sertoli cell. So what is a Sertoli cell? Well, like I said, they're kind of like the nurse cells. They're going to, they're going to take care of, um, of the sperm as they develop. However, they're also, during embryogenesis, going to secrete anti- Malarian hormone. Uh, very important. They're going to secrete anti malarian hormone. So, uh, in effect, what this is going to do is it's going to block the conversion of, or block the development of the malarian duct. So, your, oops, turn my mouse pad, malarian. So, your malarian duct, your malarian structures are going to be your female structures like your like your uterus your internal female structures so your malarian system your malarian duct turns into your female characteristics however thank thankfully i have sertoli cells because they're going to secrete anti-malarian hormone and what this will do is it'll prevent the development of your malarian duct system so you're going to block the development of female internal characteristics Awesome. So, typically by the tenth week, by the tenth week, you determine sex. Your sex will already be determined in the growing fetus. So somewhere around the eighth week or so, you're going to get this uh, anti-malarian hormone being produced, which will block the production of or block the development of your malarian system. So the female characteristics. Um, you'll have a disorder of this. It's called persistent malarian, malarian duct syndrome. Persistent malarial duct syndrome. So, and what this is, is you're going to have uh, an inability to produce this anti-malarian hormone. So you're going to have a genotypic male. So you're going to have an X and a Y chromosome. However, if part of that sorry gene is missing and you're not able to create Sertoli cells or those Sertoli cells don't function as well and you can't produce this anti-malarian hormone, you may develop a uterus. So you're going to have a genotypic male. However, you're going to have a phenotypic female. And that's because you're not able to block the development of this malarian duct and everybody starts with a malaria duct. Everybody starts as a female or with female capabilities. However, it's that SRY determining region on that Y awesome awesome Y chromosome that's going to uh, give rise to the Sertoli cells, which produces a hormone, which is going to block that inherent pathway, that malarian pathway that everybody has. It's going to block that malarian pathway so we don't become females. Nothing against females. 
However, uh, myself being a male, I love being a male. I love my anti-malarian hormone. So now let's talk about a different, uh, a different cell type. Remember, I said there were two types of cells in the in the testicle. You have the Sertoli, which we just talked about. Now let's talk about our other one, Leydig. So we've got Leydig cells. Leydig cells are going to produce testosterone. Very important. So testosterone. Uh, eventually, I'll talk about testosterone getting broken down later. Um, maybe after this Indiana-Miami game that's on TV right now that I'm trying to multitask with. But let's talk about the late egg cell while, while we're here. So we're going to produce testosterone. And testosterone is going to develop, develop, that's not develop, but it's going to develop the Wolfian duct. So everybody was born with a malarian duct, and we're going to block that. So the testosterone is going to convert our Wolfian duct into our internal male characteristics, so structures. So our internal male structures develop through the Wolfian duct due to the testosterone. So the Sertoli cells blocked the late egg cells produce something. And what structures are we even talking about? Well, we're talking about the seminal vesicles. We're talking about the epididymis. We're talking about the ejaculatory duct. And finally, we're talking about like the uh, ductus deferens. So the ductus deferens, the ejaculatory duct, pretty much anything internal. That's the takeaway message for this. Um, okay, uh, let me get a new sheet here. We've got testosterone. Great. So we've got our internal structures that are going to be created due to uh, the testosterone, which is going to produce and develop the Wolfian duct system. So that gives us our internal male characteristics. Testosterone can get converted into dihydrotestosterone. DHT for short, dihydrotestosterone. And to do that, we're going to need an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase. 5-alpha reductase is going to convert our testosterone into our dihydrotestosterone. Dihydrotestosterone is like an amped up testosterone. It is a very potent molecule. And what it's going to do is it's going to uh, develop male external I don't know what happened there, external genitalia. So we're going to need testosterone to, to develop our Wolfian duct system. We're going to need dihydrotestosterone to really stimulate our external genitalia. So let's say, uh, let's say we had a 5-alpha reductase deficiency. So we're going to cross that out. We'll only have testosterone. We'll still be female because our Sertoli, or we'll still be male because our Sertoli cells will be blocking our female system. We'll still be male internally because our testosterone will develop our Wolfian duct system. But it's this dihydrotestosterone development that's really going to give us our external characteristics. So at the end of the day, uh, you're going to have a genotypic male. So genotypic male and phenotypic uh, it's it's kind of hard it'd be more like an ambiguous so you'd be more an ambiguous phenotype because externally you're not going to have that well-developed uh, external genitalia you might have well-developed internal genitalia but externally phenotypically you'd be more ambiguous so that's the SRY so the sex determining region on the Y chromosome is very important. It'll give rise to the testes. Those testes have two different cell lineages. The two different cell types will give rise to different hormones and different functions. The Sertoli's are gonna inhibit while the testosterone producing late egg cells are gonna more stimulate the development of our male characteristics. If you found this video useful, please click like. Uh, I always get my, my ego built up with likes. Uh, I always enjoy reading your comments as well. Um, if you want more great videos like this, please subscribe for more and have a good day. Thank you very much.